bring one down because they're waiting and he's like doing okay you've got this buddy okay now i need to go get louis separately because he was giving me a hard time i've never felt like i've never had my cats in somebody else's hands other than when they were being transferred down here Anyways, I've never had my cats in somebody else's hands until I had paid a animal um, like transporting service to bring my cats down here. And she did an amazing job. I knew they were in amazing hands. But you know, in this new area, I don't really know anything. They'll be fine. And then they're staying here because it's a mobile grooming company. But now I need to go get Louis separately because he was giving me a hard time. But I brought Jasper down there. I'll just tell him what I want them to do with him and I'll have him do the same for Jasper. All right, Louis. <sighs> He's in a good hiding spot because I can't find him, but I know his spies. I know it's scary, but you'll be fine. I wouldn't put you in harm's way. Okay? Now relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good boy. Good job. You're so good. Damn, I finessed that. He went right in there this time. Ooh, gonna bring Louie down now. Let me see, Ludu. What's this? Oh, that's the back of it. Let me see. He looks like he's upset, but he looks grumpy all the time. Okay guys, so before we get any further into today's video, I did want to give a huge thank you to Fetch Rewards for working with me for today's video. So if you guys have never heard of Fetch Rewards, basically an app where you can scan any receipt from absolutely anywhere and you can earn points from your purchases that you're already making. So you don't need to even go out of your way to use it. You can simply just keep your receipt when you shop anywhere, scan it, and you can earn points from your receipts. So you can seriously earn free rewards from anything that you buy. Not only can you scan paper receipts, but you can also scan e-receipts. They have an option for you to be able to scan those as well. I actually scanned a Publix receipt yesterday and it gave me 345 points. You can redeem these points for hundreds of awards, such as Amazon gift cards, Visa gift cards, really anything you can think of. It's a totally free app. It's super easy to use and you can easily download it in the app store. So you may be thinking, why fetch? One of the main reasons is because of the speed. You can easily scan a receipt, earn points, and spend a reward all from the convenience of your mobile device another reason is that it's super easy to use you can simply scan your receipt don't have to worry about where the receipt is from it only takes a couple seconds seriously anyone can use it it's super convenient and simple to use another thing is your reward options your rewards easily turn into gifts <laughs> restaurants, Amazon gift cards, Visa gift cards, Starbucks, Target, easy. Literally with the convenience of you just simply making purchases that you're already making and scanning your receipt. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the app really quickly. It's super easy. I have the app on my phone. I've had the app on my phone. This is what it looks like. I currently have 3,100 points. Um, it's a slingshot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you can easily download the app on your phone and you can click the camera option at the bottom. I use the snap option because I normally have my paper receipt with me. I don't normally have e-receipts, but if you do, they have an option for that as well. You simply take the receipt and you need to make sure it shows the store, the total, and the date. And you can take multiple pictures if that's what you need to do. Normally, I only have to take one though. Okay, so once you have taken the picture, you can click submit. It may have you confirm what the store name is. And you can easily, I got 25 points off of this receipt here but once again if you guys are interested you can easily sign up using my code Azlia and you can get your first 3,000 points this is a limited time offer so I really do appreciate Fetch Rewards for allowing me to share this amazing opportunity with you guys so if you guys are interested the link will be down below and let's go ahead and continue on with this video hi they like ran to the door <laughs> when I got you okay so oh perfect my tripod 
Damn, it's hot as shit in here. Maybe it's just hot outside and I was just outside. So, I feel like a... Oh my gosh, my head itches. Every time I put my hair in this bun with the feedings, I don't know what it is. Maybe with the hair being like directly on my neck, but this shit itches. In two days, it'll be two weeks. So, I feel like a horrible cat bomb because I did not feed my cats before they went in and got groomed. Because I was just laying in bed and they had texted me yesterday or maybe even the day before saying they would get here today anywhere between 10 and 12. So I didn't get no update, no nothing as far as what time they were going to get here. And they definitely got here on the earlier side. Um, it's 10.30. They got here at 10.17. So yeah, I was just laying in bed chilling. I haven't fed them yet and I feel horrible because they'd probably be more relaxed if they had eaten. Because they probably don't even know what's going on. But they can eat after, of course. Um, I'm just gonna feed my other kitty now. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Why is it so hot? No, I wasn't ready. Why are you already? No, sir. No, I'm not done. You don't want your sauce on it? No. Wait till I move this table and you won't even know how to jump on the counter. Okay, I'm adding flavor to it. You should be thankful. Dry ass food here. Here's your kitty food. I'm gonna leave this out for them. so horrible i like i don't like how they look down it's okay i feel like they're moving a little more than they were before but before they were so stiff i didn't like it so i was just having them up in a bun i feel like i probably loosened them up but my natural hair it's like really coming through but it's okay it's been like 12 days with the this bra these braids now i'm gonna take them out sometime soon anyway because i don't leave feed-ins for long or any particular the back of my head itches, like it hurts, probably because I'm causing tension on my hair from twisting them up in a bun. It's also loosening them up, but like, I didn't like how they looked down, so. I think I'm actually, I'm actually really interested in trying new locks. I think that's equivalent to soft locks. Honestly, I'm not completely sure. I've never had locks before. And the girl that's been doing my hair, she does them and she does a really good job. I love how they look. I'll just get them in black. I was looking at that takedown process though, because people had told me they're hard to take out. Almost lost me there. But like, it's obviously doable. And I don't have to worry about taking them out for like a month. Unless I want to take them out, sir. Okay. Well, I heard they're super light. And that way, with that style, I think I could actually have my natural hair color wrapped. It would look neater without like my other color showing through. Like, I don't mind it, but it looks better when you don't see it, in my opinion. At least on me. So, I hope you're being gentle with my cat. You're trying to nail. They get printer treatment in here. They're just so sweet. Like, I don't know. I was about to say, I get blessed with just, like, really good cats. And I do. But, like, I always have people ask me, like, how do you have such, like, sweet cats? Or more, like, how do you introduce your cats because they get along so well? I literally don't. When I get a new cat, I say that, like, it's a monthly thing. Kind of is. But they'll be alone. They'll sleep with me and just be with me for the day. By the following day, they're already together. And, like, with him, he was hissy pissy. He was throwing a little fit at first. He would just hiss when they got near because he was scared. But I knew that would pass because that was just him trying to protect himself because he didn't know them yet. But it's been like maybe a week and a half and they're already cuddling and cleaning each other. I don't know. I really also do think it's an energy thing. I think all animals like really pick up on your energy. I think cats are like that as well. Where I know a lot of people say they don't like cats because they're mean and they scratch you. I should where like you're just fucking with the wrong cat or you just had one bad experience with a cat and then you just say you don't like them. I hate when people just put like an animal all in the same category because they had one bad experience. That shit is so annoying. Like I get not everyone's gonna like every animal, but like it's giving heartless because how do you not like a specific type of animal? At least in like the domestic category of animals that are in a house. Unless it's like a snake or something, I can understand even though I think snakes are cool. But like, I don't like you anyway. And that's why you're not invited over here. I mean, some animals are like that because they've literally been traumatized and they've had like, uh, they just didn't have a good childhood, I guess you could say. Maybe cut their claws like you're supposed to. I don't know. I get like defensive that's how you know I'm a cat lady or a cat woman because look at your little tummy. He ain't good. I'm gonna rinse off in the shower because I didn't shower last night. Because I showered like hours before. Before I went to go edit. No, even worse when people say they don't like cats. They haven't even had a bad experience themselves. I don't know. Literally just. That's why you're not coming to my crib. That's why you ain't invited. Because. Man, how you coming over but you don't like cats? But I wish I could find me better
Okay, so this is going to be my outfit of the day. We have these leggings, which are from Hollister, as, along with this top from Hollister as well. I got them both online. I can leave them linked down below. You know, I'm a gym shirt girl, but these are actually really flattering and comfortable as well. There's just like some extra fabric that I don't know what to do with. So it either has to be like wrinkly at the ankles, the crotch, or I don't know, something. We love a monochromatic workout fit, even though I'm not working out. I was going to, but... I had woken up originally at 8.50, but then I went back to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my hair because it's like getting to the point where like I'm gonna want to start touching it up, even though they still look really good. It was still looking fresh after like a week. I like them down, but not the back. So I'm gonna start by just laying my edges. Actually, I'll probably set it like this and then I'll wrap the hair up. This top is actually kind of out of my comfort zone, but I like how it looks on me, so that's good. This is an extra small and I feel like it fits comfortably, but I feel like there's some side boob action in the slightest, but it works. I was looking into flights because I'm going to be flying back for Christmas. Like, I really want to go back for Christmas. I'm going to make it work, obviously. But I was looking at flights last night and, you know, it's the holidays, so that's when flights, like, really spike up. And I went to Delta because that's always, like, my first option. That's, you know, that's what I normally go with either that or southwest dumb tickets was none were less than one thousand dollars and then i went to southwest and they were still around five hundred dollars 460 if we're lucky ari was looking for me on jet blue and they were maybe 360 which is still ridiculous but it's doable but at this point i would seriously rather drive than pay that because i also feel like that would be beneficial for me i washed my scarf because that way i'll actually have a source of transportation while i'm there i mean i don't mind relying on someone else for transportation but then again, I kind of do. I don't know. And like the drive down here really was not bad. It was doable. And by the end, I mean, I still did not go to bed that day until, until nighttime. I don't know. It was almost therapeutic. I really didn't mind it. Especially if you leave early in the morning, early, early, like 12 a.m. You're there by the morning. And then that way, if I have gifts, I could just put them in my trunk rather than trying to figure out how the fuck I'm going to put them in a suitcase. I don't know. Somebody better convince me not to do that. Because if nobody does, I'll probably do it, honestly. I don't know. I don't see why not if I don't mind driving it. If I hated the drive, yeah, maybe. But I didn't. So it was like 11 and a half hours. But we have stopped to sleep for like two hours. And then the rest, just push through it. Okay. Sometimes I like to think I'm invincible. I am human, but I like to think I'm invincible. I remember there was, I, I've been told basically that they were worried about me taking the drive over here because it's long and yeah, but I didn't put too much thought into it because the more I overthought it, the harder it was gonna be. And there was no reason to do that. So yeah, I seriously just drove right through it and called it a day. Slept good that night. I like this little outfit. I like things like this that I could wear where it looks like I tried, but it's comfortable and I still look put together. <laughs> We're gonna eat a muffin, nothing new. I want to find the blueberry ones so bad because they're so good. They, they hit so much different than these, probably because I don't like chocolate. I may go on the hunt for them today. They're at Publix, but I always go later in the day where they're probably already sold out. That flavor is always sold out, but we're gonna find them because this one's like, okay, unless you like chocolate, but that blueberry hit different. I was sending Karen pictures of the flight prices. Well, at first I sent her a picture of the flights and I don't think she noticed how expensive they were. And she was like, I'll be outside waiting. I'm excited for you to be back, all this. <laughs> I was like, do you not see the prices? It's $1,000 for a ticket. She said, wait, huh? No, I didn't. Hold on. Let me see this for myself with my own eyes. She, <laughs> then she sent these. <laughs> and then she said, so I'll see you next Christmas. <laughs> um, I'd literally rather drive. Who's going to stop me? They couldn't stop me the first time. Everyone that I've had try this says that it tastes like a pancake. And they're like, I need some syrup. So I give them syrup. I don't know. It doesn't taste like a pancake to me. I'm going to try it with half and half. It calls for milk. It's just a little bit thicker. Okay, it's been like, it's about to be an hour since my cats have been out there. But like my other texts never sent, so hope, I just really hope. Okay, this is already a lot thicker than it normally is. I just hope that it comes through when they're done. I'm not gonna make coffee because I'm hanging out with Ari today. I don't know if I said that. But we're gonna go to a coffee shop to go get some work done. But we're gonna go somewhere new because I've only tried out one other coffee shop here besides Starbucks. And there's so many cute cafes. Let me actually get an idea of where we should go. Okay, it's done. I'm kind of scared. It looks the same. I feel like if anything, it's just fluffier. Okay, wait. Now that I think about it, maybe when the grooming company said 10 to 12, they meant it would take from 10 to 12, not anywhere in between that time frame. That would make sense. Like for an appointment, why would it be bet between like a two hour time difference, you know? Mm. 
These strawberries are so sweet. They're so good. Mm. Got them from Target, surprisingly. I saw this post the other day and it was talking about how Target has like pretend groceries. And it weirdly makes sense. I didn't completely rinse off the cutting board, the soap. So they taste like soap, um, but I ate a majority of them. I'm gonna make sure I eat one of these bananas a day so I they don't go bad. Me living alone, like if I'm gonna get a whole stack of bananas, you need to at least be eating once a day. One of them a day or they're gonna go bad. Parents said I'm actually laughing because I was paying that. Well, I'm fine. Still look fresh. And I'm gonna clean up this counter because this is how the disaster develops over time. I just don't notice it normally until it's horrible. Okay, so my last text that I sent them, like before I even dropped them down there, it didn't go through for some reason. Like it automatically doesn't go through. And I was like, okay, whatever. Hopefully they just text me whenever um, they're done. But I just tried to send another one and it didn't go through either. So what if they're trying to contact me and it's just not going through? So I'm gonna go down and check on them because it's right downstairs. Because I'm hoping they haven't tried to get in contact with me and I just haven't seen it. Look at him, <laughs> look, he's so handsome. <laughs> Mommy, I wanna get out. Look at his little face, Louie. He looks good. Mr. Louie. King Louie. <laughs> he looks so good. Look at my handsome. <laughs> Get inside. Okay, so Louie is done, and then they were just telling me that Jasper was giving them a little bit of a harder time, which makes sense because he's never been groomed before, and Louie has on multiple occasions, but I didn't have... Yeah, I didn't have Jasper at the time, but now I have two really long-haired cats and they need to be groomed. I do my best to brush them at home, but having them professionally groomed helps a lot, especially if they get knots that are harder to take off. I'm here with Ari. We're together, we're hanging out again today, but right now we're just waiting for Jasper to be done and then we're gonna go to a coffee shop to get some work done. Very excited. He's chilling, he's always been really good. You're so good, look at you handsome. You can eat soon. Oh. Hi. Jasper, welcome back home. Oh my gosh, look how tiny he looks because his hair is wet. <laughs> he is fucking terrified. Oh, my handsome prince, look at him. <laughs> look at Jasper. This is what he looks like because he didn't allow them to blow dry him. But it makes sense because he's scared of the vacuum too. So, you know where, you were, where you're at though? Oh my gosh, he looks so tiny. Well, they trimmed him. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You needed it though. At least you smell good, you're clean, you'll dry. He looks so little without his hair. I forget, that makes like a huge difference. <laughs> See, he didn't need to be groomed because he has short hair and he's a baby. Bentley, like he has long hair, but it's a different type of, like he yeah. doesn't get matted. I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't even get knotted, but the other two do, so. <laughs> Are cats ticklish? I know dogs can be. Yeah, like his fur is long. He sheds the most. Really? I would yes. think Louis sheds the most. Um, he still sheds a lot, but Bentley, his hair is long, so when he sheds, it's like. But I brush him, so he doesn't really have much right now. But you can tell when he sat somewhere. Okay, so we have our bags and we're ready to go get some work done. We were gonna walk. It sounds cute, but I know it's once too we get Florida outside. Yeah, it's too Florida outside. It's too Florida outside. Yeah, we're gonna change it real quick once the sun come out. That's, that's very fun. true. We were in the shade and we thought it felt nice, but we didn't even make it to the sun. Okay. I don't want that. No, you're good. Yeah, you're good. You could go forward now. You're good. And now you, <laughs> you could go forward. There you go. We're here, or not quite, but did you see it when we were driving past or no? It's hang up right there. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, it's cute. It is a high dog. This is why I stick to Starbucks because I don't even like it. I'm gonna add, ask if they can add vanilla. 
see, this is why we stick to Starbucks. Or personally, this is why I stick to Starbucks because this shit is disgusting. Like Ari was saying, the aesthetics are there. The aesthetics are a good nine out of 10, but it's gross. I like strong coffee, but it tastes like dirt. Yeah. It's almost like when you get bad matcha and it just tastes like beer and it doesn't give any type of sweetness. Like she said that she wanted to sniff back and ask for some vanilla. Ain't shit saying that. Ain't nothing saying that. And then it's grainy. Mine's taste like. What did you get? Chai? Yeah, it literally tastes like I'm drinking perfume. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not being mean, but like literally, like that's just how it tastes. It literally tastes like perfume. Like, why am I drinking alcohol? That I shit wanted alcohol. Cheap we'll go to the liquor store. Uh, right, there's one right there. Period. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the aesthetic is there. It is. It's the execution. Cute. The effort, you know. Even though he almost charged me $20 for one drink. No, he did charge you $20. You had to get a refund. Oh, right. I had to get a refund. Now I'm mad. I'm pissed. I feel that. When I go to edit, the best part is the the, the drink. Right. Like that's what I look forward to. Right. Um, and then we missed your your actual full reaction. Oh yeah. Well, I have it. I'm gonna put it, take it out of that clip and put it. Oh no, you. Oh yeah, you did taste it though. Yeah, I was. Okay. Yeah. We're better off sticking to. Well, no, we can still try other coffee shops. I mean, even the other one we went to was good. Yeah. That shit was fire. Yeah. It's just, yeah, yeah. When, you, when you said it had a little space, I did it. I should have asked him for a ring or whatever. Ari was saying that we basically paid for the straw, which Period. is true. It at least, at least the straw isn't squishy. They're cute. Mm-hmm. my straw for my shit in my purse. And then she said it's a hideout for a reason. <laughs> Maybe the smoothies or the avocado toast are better, but like... <laughs> I'm not coming back. Like, maybe to sit and chill because the area's cute. Mm. Yeah, but why at that point? True. And then I didn't pay for parking, so I'm just waiting for my shit to get towed. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, though. I'm glad I did not pay for us to sit here. Period. As you should. Shit. I be... See, I'm from here. So I be risking it. There's places right. I wouldn't risk it. But and I don't know those places, so... Yeah, but is this right here? The fact that you can see it, bitch, you can run. <laughs> if they try to take my shit, right? That's what I was thinking. We're leaving. So pretty. You want to see the water? Yeah. I'm so glad we didn't walk. See how far it is? It wants to come out of the gun. Yes. Wow, it's fucking hot. It is. <laughs> Starbucks, but whatever. We miss you. We miss you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Can I do like an extra? Like, we're now at a coffee shop that we've been to on multiple occasions and we know it's good. It was nice to attempt to step out of the comfort zone and give us a little tap on the back for that. It was not a good idea. And two drinks here were the total of what one was. Okay. Yeah, this place is called. It's right in front of us. Yeah. Pas. Pas. Okay, I'm gonna try. Passion of the Sky. Oh, okay. I looked it up the last time. Okay, so we're back from the coffee shop. I was using the bathroom. Yeah, I went to the bathroom and this girl had just like walked in. She didn't knock or anything. I swear I'd locked the door, but I guess it wasn't fully locked. And I just said like louder, I was like, oh, there's somebody in here. And she just shut the door. And then I was just doing my business. And then she walks in again, like what, a minute later? Bruh. <laughs> she walked in a minute later, still didn't knock. When she, she was sitting right there, so she would have seen me get out, but she, and then at that point I was embarrassed and I knew it stunk in there. So I was like, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> but it's probably karma for like a couple weeks back. I was at this gas station and I walked in on this lady in a stall because it wasn't locked and I didn't notice. Yeah, anyway, so we are back at the house now and um, we decided that the next thing that we're gonna do is put this couch together So I didn't really show you guys or say much about it. Do these have my address on them? Yeah, but I ordered this couch that I showed in a recent video I didn't really talk about it, but I just said I wanted this couch This is the Kivik four-seater sectional couch in dark gray I didn't realize how many boxes it was gonna come in or that it wasn't gonna be put together period or I thought like not the cushions are attached to the couch I think but the covers are not and you kind of have to attach the bottom piece to the back i don't know i watched a lot of videos but there should also be directions and i know all the pieces are in here as far as i know yeah. so yeah probably easier than the bed I think these are they're just bigger cushion. pieces what i think this is a cushion i was also waiting to put this together because i knew two of my kitties were 
kind of musty, just on the mustier side. And I didn't want them to, because they're going to have access to the couch, but I didn't want them yes. to get it dirty. Also, I ordered like a covering for this so you wouldn't see it. It's like a white little like hiding house thing. But um, I don't know. It was supposed to be delivered on Saturday. So sad. <laughs> You like the little lion. Yeah. Right? A little, like a little jaguar. You think he, you, you have a little try it? If he was that terrified of it, then he like shake his butt. <laughs> if he was that terrified with, of it with them, I'll just let him air dry, honestly, because it's not really. That's crazy. <laughs> it's weird listening to music later on. Like, what do you do? <laughs> Yeah, they're in there. Uh, we were looking for the instructions. Okay, so that's for the chase. Look, it says don't basically don't do it by yourself. <laughs> I think, no, yeah, last time we were here we got pineapple and they were fire, but these are like, Guava it tastes really like, too. I've never had that one. Oh. It tastes like, what is this, spray paint? Dinosaur. Oh, it is, I didn't even notice.
They're ready. Because once you take them out, I don't oh, know how yeah. you like them. Yeah, I like them soft. You like them soft? Yeah. Who the fuck wants some crunchy, crunchy, dunchy cookie? Y'all, it's nearly 4 a.m. I have been sitting on this couch in the same exact position. I got up to brush my teeth and use the bathroom just now. But before that, I have been sitting here, you know, on the couch since um 11:30. Have not gotten up once. My reason for that was editing. Did it need to be done tonight? No. But once you get into a flow and you're loving the video, there's nothing that can stop you. Especially when everybody's asleep. Who gonna stop you? So yeah, I got it done. The reason it took so damn long is because it was 53 minutes long them long videos be they'd be killer to edit totally worth it i wasn't even planning to use any of that footage and i got nearly an hour long video out of it so that's amazing but i also didn't close off this video and i wanted to go ahead and do that even though it's so late i need to go to sleep but um ari left around 9 15 ish had a great day seriously had so much fun it was it was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all so much for watching and sticking around until the end. If you did, I'm gonna take my ass to bed. I'm still gonna try to get up around like 10, 10 30. I should be fine to go work out in the morning. If I do that shit, I am literally unstoppable. Like, that would be insane. I could do it though. But I love you all so much. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna take my ass right into the room, knock the fuck out, and I'll see y'all in my next video.